Welcome to Practically, We Bring Learning Alive and I am Dr. Preeti. Today, I have brought an interesting topic for you all and that is how clouds are formed. You see the scenery over here? There are mountains, green pastures and white cottony things that are floating in the sky. Well, those are nothing but clouds. Let's see how they are formed. To form a cloud, we require two major things and those are sunlight and water bodies. Water bodies can be of any type, be it pond, lake, river, sea, ocean, surface of earth or even plants. Anything that contains water will start to evaporate when it comes in contact with sunlight. The evaporation process helps in the formation of water vapor. Water vapor is so light in weight that air picks this water vapor and takes it along with it higher up in the sky. As the air goes higher up away from the surface of earth, it becomes colder and colder. What will happen to the water vapor when it becomes cold enough? Well, here comes the process of condensation. Water vapor starts to condense into small water droplets. These water droplets are floating in the bunch. As they are small enough, air can float them. And that is nothing but we see them as clouds. Now tell me what will happen if this water droplet starts to accumulate in the cloud? Well, the answer is the clouds will start to becoming heavier and heavier. At one point, the clouds won't be able to hold all the water that is forming in them. Then what will happen? Well, do you hear the sound? That is what will happen. It will start to rain. It will start to pour down. That's, that is nothing but the formation of rain. And this is nothing but whole of the water cycle that you have seen now. What is Miss Curious asking the question? Well, she wants to know whether there are types of cloud. What do you think? Have you ever seen in the sky with different types of clouds? Well, yes, you have. Correct. So there are different categories of clouds based on the position at which they are situated away from the surface of earth correct since it is in the sky so it is always referenced with the surface of earth so there are three main categories of clouds those are low level clouds which are situated from 0 to 2000 meters away from the surface of earth then there is mid level of cloud which are 2000 to 6000 meters away from the surface of earth then there are high levels of cloud which are situated above 6000 meters. So they are very far away from the surface of earth. Let's see some of the common categories that you can see in the sky. The first one is cumulus. This is a very common pretty cloud that you can see in the sky. Then there is stratus. This is similar to cumulus but it is a spread out cloud. Then they have they are bigger brothers, that is alto cumulus and alto stratus. These both clouds are situated in the range of 2000 to 6000 meters away from the surface of earth. Now you might think that as we are going away from the surface of earth, the size of cloud is increasing. Well, then what will you say about cirrus? The cirrus is nothing but feather like cloud that you can see in the sky. They are always in bunch and they are spread out in the sky. These are cirrus. It appears as if the feathers are thrown in the sky and they are very pretty to see. Then there is another category. It is known as cirrocumulus. It is the combination of feather-like structure and cotton-like structure of cumulus. Whenever you see a feathery, cottony cloud in the sky, that is nothing but cirrocumulus. Am I forgetting something? Well, I am. I am forgetting the biggest cloud of them all and that is nothing but cumulonimbus. This cloud is so huge that it spans all the three levels of cloud categories. It is as if a big bunch of cotton is thrown in the sky and you feel like jumping on it and having fun. But wait, do you hear the rumbling and thunder? Well, that is caused because cumulonimbus is a storm and thunder causing cloud. It has a capacity to downpour or heavy, give heavy rain to the area. So whenever you see a cumulonimbus 
black cloud stay away from it go home and be safe well that's it for today's interesting topic tell us whether you like this video or not in our comment section below do like this video and subscribe to our practically live and practically 11 to 12 channels on youtube download the practically app from play store and app store for more such interesting so do download it and subscribe thank you bring learning alive practically